Welcome back to my world or to me and my channel. If you're new to this channel, I'm Lexi Boo and welcome babes. As you guys can see by the title, it is written a get ready with me. So guys, I just finished washing my hair. It's low chilling. Literally just finished washing my hair with this um, soft and free shampoo. Um, and I'm getting ready because I'm going um, on a date with Happy. It's our anniversary. Actually, it's our anniversary on Tuesday, but we decided to celebrate it um, today because he's leaving tomorrow. As you guys know, I'm in a long distance relationship. So, yeah, that is that. So, I just finished washing my hair. I am going to let it air dry in this towel and then I'm going to quickly bath with cold water, of course, because it's been low chilling since 12 and it's going to come back at 4. And at 4, it's the time that I'm 4, it's the time he's going to fetch me. And um, I literally do not know what to wear. I took some few clothes out so I can have like um, options, but I literally do not know what to wear. But I'm quickly going to bath. I'm going to show you guys the products that I'm going to be using today on my body. However, I'm going to bath in a Vasco because <laughs> it's low chilling. And then, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys the products that I'm going to be using. And then I'm going to bath. And after bathing, I'll get back to you all when we do our makeup. So I'm also going to show you guys how I'm going to style this hair. I think we should also start with the hair after I'm done bathing. But I'm quickly going to show you the products now. And then I'm going to bath and then I'm going to get back to you all okay guys it's basically the products that i used yesterday but i'm gonna show you guys um the products that i'm gonna be using is the same as the ones that i'm going to be using on the vlog um bef after this one so please go tune in to that vlog if you are done watching this vlog so the reason why i have this body dab like this because it's almost finished so i wanted it to scoop out so i can be able to use it guys please go get yourself this body dab it's a body wash um it smells super good moist on the skin skin glowing skin soft skin smelling good good texture as well and then i'm going to be using my face cloth and my body cloth along with my body scraps and then I like to use um, raspberry salt when I bath. Usually I use salt to bath. Mouthwash. Face foam from Sorbet. This is the face foam that I use. Keeps your skin glowy, keeps your skin moisturized, keep your skin hydrated. It keeps your skin away from pimples. Do get yourself this one at clicks. And then also my toothpaste and my my toothbrush and my toothpaste. So I'm basically gonna take a quick oh my lighting, sorry about that. I'm basically gonna take a cold quick bath. And then I'm going to come back to you all. And then we're going to do our hair and then our makeup. And then we're going to decide which outfits to wear. Because I literally have no idea what I want to wear. I have more like an idea of the things that I want to wear. But I don't know if I can wear them. Like if it makes sense. Because we go to a restaurant and the... First and second outfit, actually three of the outfit that I took out is more like a club vibe. So I don't even know if we're going to go to his dad house. I don't know. So that's why I'm saying like if I can wear them or not. Guys, I'm done brushing my teeth. I'm just gonna quickly apply this Vaseline because my lips are, are a bit dry. So for my body lotion, I'm gonna be going in with the Cerave. Cerave. 
I don't know how to say it, guys. Please don't come with me. But I'm gonna go in with this rave. It helps for because I have irritated skin, and my skin is so sensitive. Like when I'm after sweating, like I get like lumps and bumps. So this helps you to balance your skin between sweatiness and bacteria and itchiness or anything like that. It also helps with dry skin. It helps with quaky skin. It helps with all skin types. So please do get yourself this rave from Clicks, or you can get it at discount if I'm not mistaken. But I got mine from Clicks, and it was two something. So. Never mind my background. I'm gonna apply this Dove Roll On, and then we're gonna start with my hair. I don't know what I wanna do, but I was thinking of doing like a pony, like a slick back pony, <laughs> jog up. I'm not really sure, but I think we should do that. I mean, why not? Okay, this is uh, what I'm dealing with. My hair is still wet, but it's okay. I'm gonna apply gel and whatnot. I need hair food because I've been avoiding putting on oil in my hair, but I need hair food because if I do not put in any oil in my hair, my hair is gonna start breaking. It's like it is doing now. Oh. Baby, calm down. Okay, definitely not doing blonde. I just came off blonde. I do not know how to install this. Definitely not this color. We have a black top. Black can always work. Um, I'm getting an income call. Pink, no. Blue, no. Purple, hello. Black pony. This one is gonna need me to straighten it, and I do not have the time for it. No. And another black one. I think we're gonna stick to black pony. I think we should. My friend is keep on calling me hey girl hey if you're watching this no <laughs> you keep on calling me and i have to record i have to talk to my boo so i have to talk to you included so if i talk to you on the phone i'm not going to be able to film this video this video can't be up if i'm going to be talking to you because can't. i'm using one social media connection which is my phone Okay guys, I was on a call with my girlfriend. I did a sleep part when I was on a call with her. So I'm going to... She said I should gel my hair. Because I wanted to go with it like this. But now I see why she said I should do... <laughs> now I see why. Like my hair be, be, be missing. But it's okay. We're on this journey of growing my hair. So I'm going to be using the soft and free gel. Just to gel down my hair. Uh, I'm gonna be using my brush to do 
gitu So I'm gonna place you guys here yeah, so you guys can see whatever I do But I'm gonna look into this mirror so I can see what I am doing is good like a pony that will do its thing without me struggling I think this one I'm sure you guys know by now how to install a pony guys keep in mind this is a get ready with me and not a tutorial so if you do not know Please request down below so I can. Ugh. Please comment in the comment section so I can teach you guys how to install a pony. But I'm just doing what I'm supposed to be doing for this. Get ready with me. showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Stars shine and bright above. Whisper 
plastic bag over my head because I want my hair to be flat as possible. While I'm doing my makeup. it actually looks oh, so it actually looks really really good I don't know what's wrong with my hair here it's like it bothers me so much but I'm gonna fix it I don't know if it's supposed to go this way or which way where do you wanna go I just want to clip it. Okay. And then I want to wear like... Then I'm just going to wear this jew rag. So that I make sure like... There's no... Air coming in whatsoever. So my hair can... Lay as flat as possible. As flat as possible I'm kind of like worried because my boyfriend hasn't said anything and he's supposed to be here in welcome by now and he hasn't said anything <sighs> but yeah and I also tried calling him and he's not picking up okay this is what we are working with. I just want to take it back so that my makeup, you know. Okay. Alright. This is what we're going to deal with. So I want to clear up and then we can get started with the makeup. Update. My boyfriend is here. <laughs> And I'm not even done. And he was, he asked, he begged me not to do so much makeup. And I'm like, I'm with my booze. I have to do makeup. And he was like, okay, not so much. Because he does not like makeup at all. He doesn't mind when I wear makeup. Don't get me wrong. But he just prefers me like this. He loves me naturally. So I'm going to do... I know now I have to do a natural look. To throw this away because... It's no more and this was one of my favorite matte lip glosses and it's so dry and it's no more so I have to throw that away and then also yeah we're gonna have to get started guys cuz we do not have time so okay guys for my face I'm going in with this even in lovely tone and this pons my products, never mind my products, my products are running out. <laughs> I need to re up on them. So, let's chat on today's topic how to know someone is a pervert and how to deal with it. Guys, basically, you can see by a man and a woman. I'm going to be on both sides because I don't want to sound sexist and say that. It's only men who are perverts, but women as well, human beings are perverts. So how to know someone is a pervert towards you and how you should deal with that. First of all, when someone wants, when someone is checking you out in a funny way to begin with, if they are checking you out in a funny way, in a way that you feel uncomfortable like it's like they sizing you it's like they trying to see your butt or your boobs through your clothes that's when you should know that someone is a pervert if someone is trying to make you feel uncomfortable immediately when they're looking at you by just looking at you that person is a pervert
Okay, next up I'm going to go in with some primer and I'm going to prime my face. The minute the person looks at you weird, we already agreed that that person is a weird, is a perfect. Now, number two, when that person is touching you in a weird way, like when you're in that person's presence, ne? and you feel uncomfortable by the way they touch you, you feel uncomfortable by the way they embrace their hands around your body without your approval. Oh, honey, that is a pervert. Like, the minute if someone touches you without your approval and that person is being weird towards you, like they touch you in places where you did not give permission for, without you guys having any agreement to sexual wise or anything like that, that person is definitely a pervert. Okay guys, so now I'm going to go in with this Fit Me Foundations. I'm using the shade 250 and the shade 332. This 332 is my dark shade and the 250 is my light shade. I usually like to mix them. Why I use two different shades is because in winter I get um, lighter and then in summer I burn because it's hot and I get a little darker. That's why I have a balanced shade when I mix them. So I saw this new hack on YouTube shorts. So they say you put in your two um, foundations in your hands and you do this and then you just spread it like this to get the best result. So we're trying this hack. Oh wow, already I can feel like uh, I can see the difference already. So I'm gonna go in with my sponge and I'm just gonna blend it in. I'm just gonna blend. So when that person touches you and let's say you guys are in public or whatnot and that person is touching you and you can see that their hands are busy embracing your body. You can see that their hands are touching where they're not supposed to be touching. And you just keep quiet about it. You're going to give that person the platform to do whatever they want to do to you. And to be a more bigger pervert towards you because you are not dealing with the situation. Right? Step number three is... When a person just talks to you in a funny way, not in a normal way of um, how they usually talk to you. Or let's say you it's a new person, right? Let's say it's a completely different new person in your space. And this person is talking to you weirdly in terms of they're not talking to their friends like that, but only with you. They like talking sexually. They want to know like your panty size. They want to know your bra size. They want to know like whether or not you sleep with a panty at night or not, like just those sexual comments and whatnot. And them being so obsessed with um, your body. Oh, baby, that, that, that is a pervert. That is a pervert. That is a big, big, big pervert. Right now that I'm done with applying my foundation, I'm just going to do my eyebrows. So what I usually like to do to use, I like to use this brush. It is called Brown Bestie, but it came out with um, the eye pencil. But I'm not using that because it's not such... A good quality pencil so I just use the brush instead you can get this brush at clicks if it's still there I don't know because I got the brush like long time ago and what I usually like to do now before applying like um, anything on my 
eyebrow like before applying like a pencil or anything I just like to like put gel on my eyebrow you know to make my eyebrow like but I look like a little gel not so much just a little and then I brush my eyebrows okay step number four right if the person is asking you for news if the person is asking like let's say now you guys exchanged numbers né? and this person is being weird at night like texting you calling you randomly and you guys are nothing keep in mind that you guys are nothing and you like um new to the friendship or whatever situation you guys are in like let's say you guys are just normal friends and this person calls you and they ask if you do like sex chats or if like um you do nudes or anything like that if a guy or a girl ask you for your nudes or anything and you guys haven't even talked about sexuality or anything like that that would make that person comfortable to be that comfortable to even speak to you about such things then that person is a pervert like that person is it's clear that person is a pervert okay now that i'm waiting for that to dry off i'm going to be going in with i have three different concealers I have this smudge smudge yeah smudge um brand concealer fit me pro uh -uh, i'm lying this is the la one the dark one and then i have the fit me so what i usually like to do with this name i like to go in first with my normal sized like my medium concealer so i like to go under my eye right i like to go like upwards like this i go on my upper lips in between my brows down here by my chin and then what I like to do with the darker one because it has that more like a contour type of thing I go in here there and then I go on here there and then I'm just gonna blend it all in But I wanted to dry first because you get the best results when you wait for your concealer to stay a little longer on your face. That's when it becomes more and it it blends in properly, if that makes sense. So I'm going to wait a little bit as I'm talking to you guys about perverts. <laughs> so step number five. Hmm. Last step. Right. If the person is asking you how do you bath like how do you treat your body how do you smell like down there or the person is trying to be weird the person is trying to tell you that I want to go down on you or would you be open for us to have sex or anything like that that person is a big 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 perfect that person is a big pervert because one you never gave him the platform of becoming that comfortable with you two like he's just been disrespectful because he thinks now whatever he does with any other type of girl he can do it with you so how to deal with perverts i'm just quickly gonna blend this out and then we're gonna get to the real stop to perverts
this one. So I'm gonna highlight because this one is like very light. I'm gonna highlight my nose and then hmm, what else did I miss before doing my eyebrows? And then I'm gonna go in with my contour. So I'm gonna apply my contour. Let's see which brush we can use. I want to use like a smaller brush. Okay. Yeah, we can use this brush. Okay, so with my contour, I'm going in and then I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna go from. But that's the thing, I do not want to use my contour right now because. I haven't done my eyebrows. Let's quickly do my eyebrows. So, how to deal with privets. Guys, it's very easy. Like, I believe, like, the minute you make a privet see that you're fine with whatever they're doing to you and you're not putting a stop to it, like, from the beginning like if that person let's say um is looking at you weird do not i repeat do not just keep quiet and be fine with it if that person continues to look weird at you tell the person you're making me feel uncomfortable first of all and i do not appreciate how you look at me you you know and then step two, when the person is touchy touchy towards you, tell the person don't don't touch me. Like I did not give you permission to touch me. I did not give you permission to I know it's weird. I know how you see it now. It's like ugh, what are you doing, girl? But trust the process, trust the process. When that person starts touching you weirdly, tell the person, like, this is your life. This is your body. This is, you own your life. Your life, your body should be a temple to, to you, right? Respect your body, girl. That's the least thing you can do. Do not let people play on top of your head, play over you. Like, don't do that. Don't be afraid to tell a pervert when he's being a pervert don't don't keep quiet do not keep quiet because the minute you keep quiet is the minute you telling him that you know what whatever you are doing right now it's okay you, you understand so when that person is giving you the weird look or touching you or like when they text you weirdly block him what are you still waiting for block him block him or her like that person must know to like they must know that they should respect you regardless they must know and if they can't respect you then they should get the hell out of your life like it's simple this is not rocket science like you treat people how you want to be treated and if you're going to treat me weirdly and expect me to be fine with it while it makes me uncomfortable and you do not respect the fact that you're making me uncomfortable. Oh, oh honey, we're going to have a problem. We're going to have a problem. You and I, we're going to have a problem. So, do not, because I believe like, also why guys behave weird, or human beings, women behave weird around men, guys behave weird around ladies, is because the minute a guy right ask you a weird question talking from experience and they expect you to answer that question and you answer it right the minute you answer a funny question that you should shouldn't have answered how do you know it's a funny question oh honey you'll know by just being uncomfortable you will know it's it's, it's a weird question so the minute a guy ask a weird question 
so you guys are sitting in a circle and a guy is being weird towards you and the minute you let that person do that to you oh honey it's game over that person is always gonna do that towards you that person is always gonna do that towards you they're never gonna respect you again they're gonna see like you guys are friends like they're gonna have that mentality of him um, we cool, we buddies, this is how we play, or this is how I speak to her, like, when you let a guy or a girl, the minute when they call you a bitch or a nigga or whatever, and you let that happen, and you do not tell the person, no, don't address me like this, or no, don't talk to me like that, and you let the person do that towards you, and you just keep quiet and you ignore it, it's game over. It, say less makes things worse. Like if you that girl who's gonna be like, oh, I'm not gonna entertain it, baby. Oh, you not entertaining it, it's cool, right? But you putting a stop to it is another thing. Like you should let them know. Like even like when you guys are in a circle or anything like that, let a perfect know. Like don't treat me like that this is i'm not like any other hoes of yours that you feel like you're gonna talk how somehow to me or you're gonna treat somehow like you normally treat them i do not play like that that's not who i am that's not how i'm about you let the person know basically and if you're just gonna tell me that you're scared of letting how do you let a person know I know sometimes it's not as easy as we say it is and it's not as easy as it seems but you just have to let the person know that my guy what you're busy doing right here I do not appreciate and I do not like you should tell the person because if you don't and you're gonna keep quiet you're gonna create more problems for yourself like it's gonna be something that's gonna be non-stop do you get it so dealing with perverts is you speaking out actually is you telling the person you know what i don't appreciate how you look at me or i don't appreciate how you talk to me or i don't appreciate how you your presence or how whatever you do makes me feel uncomfortable and you let that person know ah, that person will never do it again they will apologize even though it would be weird and be like ah oh, you weird i'm not doing that to you but okay i'll stop and you let the person know that uh uh you're not gonna treat me like this that mean that time that person is gonna stop so to me let me tell you guys a story now um there's this guy at my school right so we were in a group i decided to leave the group because I I can even tell you guys why I decided to leave the group because I haven't talked about it. It's something that happened recently. So this guy <laughs> this guy is is like towards me. He was he was weird, right? In terms of he used to ask me like you and your man like don't you send him nudes or like don't you look in the mirror and take videos of yourself or don't you like um like twerk or how are you in bed and stuff like that and um why i said you shouldn't keep quiet i kept quiet i never really entertained him i gave him i always gave him that look and that attitude that you you mm -mm, i'm not gonna do this with you I always did that with him, right? So, me being quiet, to him, it seemed like I was a fool, you know? You know how you just keep quiet and other people be like, uh, she's a fool, like, she's just gonna not do anything. So, I noticed me keeping quiet, I was a fool because um, it gave him the platform to start it just respecting me right so one day we were just in um that era way you know guys are guys and we were talking about a topic i can't remember about what exactly and then um oh we once played truth or day 
he once played truth or day and then um they asked me truth or day and i was like truth because i do not okay and then um they were like if no yeah it was a truth they were like if you were single no um would you who would you sleep with in this group hmm and hmm, my brush is dirty that's why i feel like it's making me pink but it's okay it's okay so they were like who would you sleep with in the group and I was like with Katleo because I know Katleo is my friend and he's a virgin and he obviously wouldn't sleep with me if I was single no? that was a if you were single situation not now having my man and everything and I was like with Katleo because I wasn't going to sleep with those niggas those guys are like F boys you know so um and i'm not even interested in one of them never will be so yeah i told him Katleo. and then he was like that was the last time we played truth or day and then he was all of a sudden like that day i think it was like a month after we played truth or day and then he was like the guy who disrespected me was like um you remember that other time when we asked you the truth or day who you would like smash in the group and i was like yeah and he was like um why did you choose him and i was like obviously because guy is a virgin and i knew he wasn't you know gonna do it and then he was like oh okay so now he started asking me questions, bruh. I'm in love with my makeup. I am in love, Sana. So he was like, um, so do you take nudes? And I didn't answer that because I saw girls were into the girlfriends that I hanged out with. They were into that topic. Because everyone answered and he came to me and I was like, uh uh, no comment, Baba. And he was like, um, so I assume you don't because you look boring. And I was like, okay. And then he was like, um, wait, I'm looking for something. Oh. And then he was like So I'm gonna go in with this lighter one And then he was like um, Your man is gonna leave you Because you seem boring And then I was like Okay Because I, I didn't give him That satisfaction So he assumed I don't do things like that Which has nothing to do with him Whether or not I do it Or what because it really has nothing to do with you and the reason why i'm doing this concealer fast because it dries up quickly but it's really really good it's really really good so this one you have to like immediately after applying it you must start tapping it because it gets dry so he was like you're boring and whatnot there and i wasn't even like there like i wasn't entertaining him or anything and then after that um he was like i have a boyfriend for you dude like first of all i have a boyfriend and if you're gonna tell me you have a boyfriend for me what is that like what are you saying right and then i was like i don't do boys no 
and they were like ouch so i wasn't saying okay he's a boy how he took it was like he's a boy because he was like he has a boyfriend for me so i was like whoever you're gonna give me is a boy i didn't say he was a boy Baba. so they were like oh you don't do a boy do a man and i was like yeah my men i do my men i don't do men i do my men so long story short he was like um i do girls out of the blue because i saw he got offended and he was like i do girls and i was like okay and he was like they have to be good looking i keep spraying my eyes and i don't know if you guys can see the red oh my gosh and he was like they have to be good looking nicely dressed so it seemed to me like i'm not dressed nice enough for him and he was like nicely dressed and they must have a nice personality nice boobs nice ass and he was referring that to me okay guess on guy was talking there and he said the last thing that made me to stop to cut ties like completely cut ties with with him and he was like they must be good in bed unlike you and i'm like unlike me boy first of all you don't know how i am in bed ask the people who know secondly you don't know me the audacity and authority to disrespect me like that where do you get that from so i got pissed got up and i was like f you bruh i'm out of here went to sit at another desk and guy followed me he was like no it's not how because he saw he saw i'm not like those other girls that he can talk to anyhow because in that group those guys talk to girls how they want to so i never really gave him that that thing you where you can talk to me how you want you know so that's why he felt like oh i can just also she's like the rest let me just you know talk to her how i want to so i never gave him that thing you way you can talk to me how you want to so i showed him you cannot talk to me how you want and here he was guy um he came up and tried to apologize for what reason i do not know you said what you was what you wanted to say and why are you coming to apologize for who for what why are you coming to apologize he said what you wanted to say and then um guy was like i'm sorry it's not what i meant like don't try and justify what you said you already said what you wanted to say you happy you got your attention don't come to me and say uh it's not how it was supposed to come out you said what you were wanting to say from the beginning so don't try and tell me okay that's uh, not what i meant or uh i'm sorry uh, this is not supposed how, how it was supposed to come out like i usually tell people before you say something think like you know i did not say you were a boy and even if you are a boy there's nothing wrong with being a boy because you're not a man you, you you're not someone's dad and i get some of you will be like you don't have to have businesses you don't have to have children you don't have to be at a certain age to be justified as a man but i was just saying that i don't do boys and i never said he's not a man so him coming at me like that saying that i'm not getting paid was something else because I did not insult you, right? I was just simply saying, whoever you're gonna have for me, no, I'm I'm good, you know, I'm good. So here he was trying to apologize, and then I was like, 
it's game over bruh like i i do not do that i don't play those games that you be playing with other girls disrespecting and talking to girls how you want and how you like i don't i'm not those girls i am not so don't ever speak to me ever again we are done and i anyways never wanted to have him in my life so i told him that and then um he went because he was annoying me and i wanted to i stood up actually and he was like no don't worry i'm leaving anyways and then we never spoke again till today we haven't spoken a word to each other um what do i want to do for my thing i'm gonna do the lightest 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 brown like light 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 brown so um yeah that was that so a girlfriend of mine or should i say my ex-girlfriend texted me after the after what happened with me and guy <laughs> the nerve I have to blend this out. She texted me. She was like, are you good? What happened? And I told she was there. And she was like, you called him a boy? And I was like, girl, I did not call guy a boy. You got that wrong. And she was like, you were wrong because you also offend people. Which people did I offend? I asked her to tell me which people did I offend, disrespect, or belittled. And she was like, if you're going to be in the group, it's either how you're going to handle it. It's either you're in it or you're not. And I was like, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to be disrespectful, disrespected. I'm not desperate. I know my worth. I know how to be talked to as a lady. I know how to be treated. I am good. And she cut ties with me. For what reason, I do not know. Maybe she always wanted to cut ties with me. I don't care. But um, just because I'm not talking to a guy and you decided to withdraw yourself if you're watching this, that is on you, boo. I am not going to have this fight or argument or whatever this is with you because you and I were cool and now you decide to be in the middle of it that has nothing to do with you and you decide to support. I'm actually like embarrassed to even calling you my ex home girl because... You should be supporting women and it's men like them who put women down. It's men like them who break a woman's self-confidence because there's no way a man, a whole man, a whole boy can say that someone's not good in bed unless you feel very childish, like I said, a boy. But then you're going to defend a guy over a girl and you're going to agree with whatever that guy says. And the very same guy who calls the girls in the group bitches, whores, There's something wrong with you. But I'm nothing. Anywho, I'm just gonna take out my iconist so I can do my iconist. Yeah, guys, that guy is a big definition of a pervert. Because calling girls horse bitches names, and some girls are okay with that. I'm le dumb to you, honey. You're not going to dress me like that. I know my self-worth and I respect myself to let people around me respect me. Not desperate for a friendship or you do not and you will not talk to me how you want, how you like, you know. No, no. Not with me. Not with me, sugar. Sugar. Not with me. Not with me, boy. Not with me, boy. <laughs> Not with me. You see what I did there? Not with me, boy. Not with me. So you're not... N no, you're not doing that with me. No. <laughs> so I need... I feel like I need like... um. But my man was like, don't do too much makeup. 
so I think that would be too dramatic. So I'm just gonna do like corner. And I ask him if I want um I can wear like eyelashes. He's gonna say no. <laughs> I know that for a fact and what is a makeup without eyelashes? But my eyelashes, to be honest, they be dramatic. Like, they be too much. So that guy is a definition of a big perv. So when a guy talks to you like that or treats you like that, my sister, do what your sister did. Walk away now. Why are you still entertaining him? Doesn't deserve you. A guy sh or a girl, my guy, my brother, do as your sister did. A guy or a girl is not supposed to disrespect you, belittle you, and embarrass you now. He didn't even embarrass me, he embarrassed himself. Because all his friends were on my side at the end of the day. They were like, what you did, you effed up big time. And you owe that girl an apology. That's why he stood up after his friends told him that you effed up. And he came to apologize. If his friend didn't tell him that, his friends didn't tell him what you did was wrong. I bet you, I bet you all my money that I have right now. Even though it's small money, but... I bet you guys he wasn't going to come and apologize because I know how men are. Men, not all of them, don't get me wrong. Men have pride, right? They have an ego and they, men, so he's probably a boy. That's why he did that. But he wasn't going to come and apologize. If someone didn't tell him okay, what you did, that was not cool. So, yeah. Long story short, I'm still talking to those people besides him and the homegirl who decided to throw in for the team and decide to team with boys. She, 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 she's not talking to me at this moment. I do not know what I did to her. I do not know why she decided to be the middleman and something that had nothing to do with her but we're not talking and i would like to keep it like that the reason how i saw she's not talking to me is because when i got to school the following day i think the following week yeah because that happened on thursday friday we're not going to school saturday sunday monday when i got monday at school girl was faced that side this side and i'm sitting that side so we're sitting like this né? she was faced like this the whole time talking to another person and then um i saw that she left me behind because normally i greet and then she greeted but she didn't talk to me the whole time which was cool and then we usually wait for each other and then we go sit somewhere she left me behind and she never went to where we usually sit and i was like all right cool if it's like that then we're gonna keep it like that for real forever because you know if Ladam be cutting off walls that means Ladam is done with those goals like forever forever i do not i do not be friend again like if you and i were friends and we had like something and we're no longer friends we are gonna never be friends again there are friends right now who wants to come back in my life and i'm not allowing them yes they still part they still talk to me they still chat with me but i am not availing myself to them i just feel like it's wrong in a way it's like getting back to your ex or something so mm -mm, i'm fine with that so guys i'm just gonna quickly do powder and ask my men if i should do eyebrows or if i can do mascara and then we Guy's not picking up his phone and I'm low-key like should I wear lashes? I think I'm going to I feel like I haven't worn lashes in like so long. I'm going to wear lashes. He's gonna be strong because I tried calling him. He's gonna be pissed, but I don't care really. I mean, I do care about my boyfriend's feelings, but it's our anniversary, and babe, she chillax, and he's calling. Cool. 
Okay, guys, I'm gonna put on these lashes. Ooh. Wait, I think I'm gonna put them on with my hands now because Ooh, I think they're the wrong side. Ooh, I think I should wait. <laughs> I should stand up. I had to fight with the lashes. I had to literally fight with them. Like, I even spilled glue. Oh my gosh, on the mat. Oh my goodness. I think if I sprayed with alcohol, like with a sanitizer or something, it would come off. I always have to fight with with my lashes. Oh my gosh. I think it will come off. Hopefully it does. But here are my lashes. They on. I told you guys they are a bit dramatic. Like I have to fix this um, corner here. I don't know if you guys can see it. But I also have to invest in like lashes because I forgot something. I forgot to apply the sunscreen before starting. You see, I'll be talking a lot when I'm with you guys, and that is not cool. <laughs> guys. <laughs> but it's okay. I already did like a primer on my on my face, so that is that is fine. Ooh, what am I doing? I need this eye palette. See. I'm distracted. So, yeah, and also, let's go back to privates, guys. I like this topic so much. Wait, I need to, like, fix here now. I hate when this thing goes in my eyes. Okay, back to the privates. So, if you told the guy to stop and the guy is still continuing making you uncomfortable what you can do or the girl what you can do i prefer you going to the police station because then that is no longer um a private it's serious it's a store canal so do not let people belittle you do not let people um undermine you do not let people think they can speak to you anyhow just because now you guys are comfortable with each other at the end of the day people must learn to respect you like treat people how you want to be treated i'm just applying powder quickly treat people how you want to be treated don't treat people trashy because um you comfortable you guys are comfortable and whatnot like whether or not it being your friend or like whatever you guys decide to be don't get too comfortable to a point where you hurt because you get other people out there who are sensitive like we don't have the same feelings we do not like what i see as sensitive you see it as i'm going in with my um highlighter what you see as insensitive i see it as sensitive what i see as insensitive someone else is seeing it as sensitive so do you get like we are different people and you should learn to know the person you are with learn to know whether or not this person would be comfortable with me talking about this don't be selfish because that's also how you lose people in your life by being selfish like mm -mm. Mm -mm. don't do that don't treat people anyhow you know like the same way you want to be treated is how you should treat another person like remember we're human beings and we have different feelings like i said we see life differently we were not raised the same we don't have the same lifestyles we don't have the same 
personality some people you might click with them yes and you might see that oh, okay i'm getting along with this person this person is more like like me but at the end of the day it doesn't matter how much you guys are gonna click it doesn't matter how, how much you guys are close but at the end of the day you guys are different pe people like it's two different personalities do you get it so now when you come so insensitive to a point where you just don't know how to control your mouth anymore it's a problem it's a problem because now you're gonna start losing people in your life that value you people who care about you because of your mouth that you are running think 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 before you say something think all right don't don't do that to other people and i also had someone um guys we have the whole year to be talking about oh people we have basically oh my gosh what's happening here we have the whole year to be talking about what we deal what we go through as people what we deal with like by booze i am not going anywhere i am not gonna spill the tea all the tea in this video like you're gonna have to tune in to know what i'm gonna be talking about what i wanted to tell you guys you're gonna have to tune in again because i'm not gonna be spilling all the tea no i'm not <laughs> not today so stay tuned for more topics so i'm gonna do my lips my lips combo basically a brown lip liner Okay. Then I go in with where is my concealer? A little, like a little, little, little concealer. Then I go in with my signature lip gloss. To make like a brown look then I go in on top with a light lip gloss and then on top I go in with a little darker lip gloss and when it's like this mix everything and it becomes like this so y'all guys um let's get dressed let's get dressed and then we're gonna close off this video i want to see how my hair turns out turned out <gasps> oh. nice but i feel like i need to touch up on on this little um what do i need what do i need let's do a contour you can see the line is not lining so I'm supposed to be doing that. Ooh, it's my eye, honey. My eye is irritating me. And it's not supposed to be doing that. What are you doing? What are you doing? 
I think I should plug it out a little more. Where's my... Okay. My eye is not supposed to be doing that at all. It's not... My boyfriend is turning out to be like me, like... He's starting to not be on time for anything. And mind you, he did not come with his car. <laughs> and now I have to catch a cab to go fetch him. And now he's like looking for a shirt now. And I'm done. And you are looking for a shirt. And I'm done. Do you understand what's going on? Much better. This is so better. So, so better. Like, literally better. I just need to do like a touch up. Where's my brush? Oh my goodness. What's the brush that I just used? Yeah. It was not supposed to do that. Oh, I keep getting these things. My eye. But it's okay. Because my eye is irritated. Literally irritated. please do give this video a big 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 thumbs up do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and as you guys want to see how my anniversary date went please go tune in into the next video a video that's going to come after this one so as always love you guys so much and i'll see you guys on my next live video love you all <laughs> peace <laughs>